Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Viking Size Gamer and today I am officially back from holiday. So did I miss something? Let's just review the, this stuff on here because I'm really interested to see what I'm going with. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you stopping by. Today is certainly a day that a lot of you guys have been waiting for and it's a day that I've been very excited about because I'm finally able to talk about WWE 2K18. Finally, Dick. Now, as most of you probably know, last week 2K brought me and a couple of YouTubers out to their studios to talk about the WWE 2K franchise. You know, what we would like to see going forward, some of the issues we had in the past, and we spent the entirety of the day, you know, talking about the game, what needs to be in it, what shouldn't Good. be in it, our problems, like I said, with 2K17, etc. A lot of problems. But... We also, that day, learned a lot about stuff that's already in development for WW2K. Now I'm gonna pause it there, because things that they learned about in development for WW2K18, which means that they basically, we all know they've spoken to the guys at the dev team at 2K, because seriously, this is like big, major news that I'm hearing like all over the place. I have avoided Twitter like mad. It's just so I didn't get to see any of it, so I get to come back and make this reaction video for you guys because I have literally disappeared from from Twitter. There's been a couple of tweets from me, but I haven't looked at my feed, I haven't been on Facebook, I haven't been on the news channels, I haven't been looking at anything WW2K18 the entire holiday. That, and also there was no Wi-Fi where we were staying, so that really really helped and the signal was very poor because we were staying in the middle of a valley so great but this is really exciting me I want to know exactly what has been going on and what new features have come out for WW2K18 I'm very excited for this 18 so I can finally announce some brand new features some modes all that kind of stuff right here right now so I need you guys to hit that thumbs up button as hard as you possibly can oh, yeah. if you're excited about 2K18 now I just have a document here on my screen in front of me so I'm basically just gonna read off the notes that I took uh, while they were showcasing some of the new stuff in 2k18 I will say this we didn't play the game we didn't see okay. gameplay that's not true we didn't see extensive game you didn't see extensive gameplay I'll say that okay then I'll say All right, then. we saw something and I'll talk about what I saw more. okay uh, so I'm basically just going to read it off. And later on this week, as the days go by, I'm going to pick some of these things and dive into them a little deeper, give you a more in-depth, mm. uh, you know, more in -depth uh, breakdown things, eh? kind of what we talked about with those specific things. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss any of that. So without further ado, I'm going to read off my notes. Hopefully y'all get an idea of what's going on here and we'll take from there. Number one. Number one. This section is uh, it are the primary focuses of WW2K18 since they began developing. Okay, Dick. Primary focuses of 2K18 are realism, mm -hmm. be like no one, yeah. which is the headline they're going with, the most comprehensive WWE experience ever, okay. and multiple man slash woman mayhem. Oh. What does that mean? Let's find out. Let's move on a little bit. There will be a brand new my player based experience. So, okay. one of the things that the NBA franchise does does so well is the my career my player integration stuff like that. Right. So there will be a new progression and upgrade system for your player for your created character, and they're introducing what's going to be called fighting styles essentially. Fighting styles. So depending on the type of wrestler you are, and uh, you know what your move set is, etc. If you're a high flyer, if you're a giant, if you're blah 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 blah. You, they kind of used to do this back in the day. I was gonna say um, pause. I was gonna say this. This is something they used to do a while back in the SmackDown vs Raw series, and they had these different types of. They didn't really do a lot, but there were certain things like you obviously you were a bit more restricted with what you could do in certain moves, things like that. But there wasn't. It wasn't like fully in depth. It wasn't fully realized. But this. This is. This is new, it's like they're bringing some features back that should have been in the game for a little while. Because obviously not every wrestler's got the same sort of style, so... 
this could be really, really interesting. All right, unpause. Um, the first thing that pops in my head is WWE All-Stars, how you had, you know, your Giants and you had your High Flyers and stuff like that. So I, I feel like this year they're going to kind of compress what you're able to do based on your fighting style. So again, this this isn't 100% confirmed, but maybe if you're a 7 foot, 350 pound Giant, you might not be able to do moonsaults no. and crazy, you know, well, corner diving moves and stuff like that. Again, I'm not sure if that's the case. Well, you can't really say what, that. You look at Vader. They made it seem moonsault. like they're going for here. Now, my career mode, the mode that I talked about a lot. My career when mode. I had my time to say things with the developers. Please give it something good. Free roaming backstage <sighs> is returning in my career. Yes. Baby, that's awesome. Uh, that is. There will be a new promo engine. Freaking awesome. They're calling it Promo Engine 2.0. Uh, okay. We kind of ragged on them about their promo system. Yeah, the promo system was bad. Was there, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. 2K, you know, especially the, the WWE 2K people, they get a bit of a bad rap for, you know, sometimes lack of communication with the community. Uh, what seems like sometimes lack of, like, desire to push the game forward. But if you spoke to these people and, and if you... Uh, you know, had a conversation about what they're trying to do and where they where they want this game to go, but the restrictions that they have because of outside things, you'd really start to understand, like, wow, these guys want the same stuff that I do. Wow. It's just a matter of, like, whether or not we can actually make it happen. There's anyway, a lot of restrictions for those guys. Engines. And there will be a brand new story in my career, which they said is going to be a lot more compressed <sighs> From 2K17, because 2K17 was just never ended. Thank you. It just never ended. It just kept going and going and going and going and going and going and going. Then you fight Baron Blade and Kevin Owens and Baron Blade and Kevin Owens and Baron Blade and Kevin Owens. Uh, and again, this is stuff we all brought up to the developers. Pause. This is so exactly what everybody was talking about with WWE 2K17. There needed to be... I've been saying this for so long now. It's in my top 10 videos. There needs to be a story in my career because otherwise it's just pointless. I mean, like, what what is the point? There's no seams of natural progression. You know, it's it's all about the storytelling in WWE, you know? And if you've got not got that element of storytelling in the game, then what's the point? You're not actually storytelling at all. You're just playing through match after match after match after match. You may as well be just doing house shows because there's not really any sort of rivalry there. There's no sort of story going, you know, you've got to have some sort of, you know, story, you know, you've got to have a storyline, don't you? You know, whether, you, whether you're facing the Wyatts and the Wyatts get creepy and freaky on you, or, or you're facing Braun Strowman, he's just constantly attacking you backstage and throwing you into stuff, and maybe you get an injury angle, or maybe you're the underdog going into the Royal Rumble. There's got to be something, you know, and this is really, really, really Really good news. I'm oh man, I'm psyched. Seriously, awesome. I'm awesome. They said brand new story that shouldn't happen this year. It's much more compressed. It's replayable. You're gonna want to go back and replay through it because of different branching things and this branching storylines. Really cool. awesome. Uh, there will be yes. a new online my player mode okay. called Road to Glory. Road to Glory. They gave us no details about this. <laughs> Why? Because they probably want to save that for maybe closer to the, to the release to hype the game up more. They maybe. basically said there's a brand new game mode. It's online only. It, it's, it revolves around your my player. It's called Road to Glory. Road to Glory on, surface, on that my mode. Really okay, then. And, and, I, and I think we'll see how that goes. myself and Pulse both said this. Like, on the surface, that sounds really good. But if your online is still terrible, it's not going to matter. And they pretty much said... We're working on that. <laughs> so, brand okay, new so they're online, working on online this year. That sounds That's really, really good. Creation Suite is creation getting a, a pretty decent overhaul. Yeah. They're adding in Create a Match. Create a Match is finally coming back so you can set Create a Match has been long, a long, long, long overdue. Off, or, it's you been know, so long. I don't, I don't know if they're going to be blood options, honestly. There should be, but not entirely sure with the whole PG thing or whatever. Um... They didn't really go in depth as far as what exactly you're going to be able to customize, but if they're bringing back the create a match feature, I'm sure there's going to be enough options in there to make people uh, want to use it. You know what I mean? And they added new options and additions to create a superstar, Good. create a video, Good. and create an arena. So those three Good. specifically, those three creation features, um, they really improved upon. So we're looking at more features for those features. That's great. They were tight-lipped about it, but they made it seem like it's not coming back. 
They made it seem like it's not there. They didn't flat outright say it's not there. Which, again, I should okay. also note, they didn't tell us everything. There's still stuff that they're keeping close to the chest uh, right. so that they can kind of surprise people. So, like, you're going to okay. hear a lot of stuff today in this video, and you should know that this isn't it. Like, there's even... Pause. Um, so they're not going to have creative finishing, or at least they're alluding to the fact they're not going to have creative finishing. That's kind of disappointing. You know, unless they're going to have a lot more moves in there that, you know, and a lot more custom moves, a lot more random moves, a lot more Because I don't want to be stuck using, like, pedigree all the time, or a stunner, or, you know, whatever. I mean, you know, currently my finisher is like a spine buster for my created character. It's like double A spine buster because that thing just looks sick. But that's just... Uh, I mean, I'm really excited, obviously. He said they haven't flat out said that it's not coming back which is obviously really, really interesting for me because they are not revealing everything. They've given people, they've given these guys like little bits, haven't they? They, they haven't told them everything yet, which is great because obviously they're keeping things for themselves. You know, they don't want the marketing just to go out to these YouTubers, do they? They just want, they want to be able to do their own marketing. You know, these guys are just stirring the pot for them, which is great, you know, but once it builds up a bit of a fear over itself, they're going to want to do this by themselves. So this is this is major, you know. This is I'm really looking forward to see what else is going to be revealed. Um, this is this is great so far. This is like seriously awesome. So I am very happy about this. Stuff that I don't know. Uh, so certain things could change. There could be new last minute additions. But as of right now, I'm pretty sure Creative Finisher is not going to be in the game. For the Creative Superstar, there's a brand new. Base models, base models, which reflect all ethnicities, which is amazing. Because in the past, the default create a superstar, it just it looks like a rubber. It, it doesn't look like a person. You know, it looks like a created character. So they're really trying to make the base characters much okay. more realistic, so you can really create uh, just just more authentic looking uh, create a superstar. Right. So that sounds pretty cool. They said they, re they rebuilt those features from the ground up as far as the base model and the Create a Superstar stuff. So that this is what I have written on the thing. It just says, Create a Superstar, new base models, ethnicity, rebuilding features from the ground up is what they Okay. Said. We've come to probably my favorite part, and it's just my favorite part. No one else is going to care. They're bringing back a free cam. What? So in Create a Video, Create a Highlight, that's, all that kind of stuff, they're enhancing that that's so you amazing. can take clips from... You are matched, you can pause the game and say, hey, I want that clip, you can take it, you can save it, you can go back into it using a free cam. Pause. Uh, and free cam. Seriously, oh, I've just been dying for a free cam to come back. And there's so many creators out there that are gonna be wanting for that free cam to be come back. And their, their prayers have been answered. This is major, major, major stuff. I mean, there are so many people out there that use the highlight reel, you know, they want to get the right angle for all their cutscenes and things like that. You know, they want to actually play out things, you know, especially when you're making your created video, you know, for your, for your entrance video, for your highlight reel, for your superstar, and you want to get the right angle just for that, you know, for that jump, you know, because there are certain angles that you can't get with the camera in WW2K17. If you're making a dive out to the commentary area, the camera there's just not quite right. But you know what? You want to be right down beneath when you make a dive over the top rope at that person that you are diving at and it's just having that free room camera is just going to be a game changer again it's great that it's back see the the amount of time that they've spent in this game so far from what i'm hearing from just these features i've said this before they have been laying a foundation for the last three years they've been doing everything that they can to get this game up to a point where they can sort it out and I'm really confident that they are they have laid decent enough foundations that they can bring us an awesome game I'm not even finished with this yet so let's just get on with the video sorry guys around and see the things like I've been wanting a, free, a friggin free cam for so long like the amount of content I'm thinking about now uh, having that free kit, you know, just, just it, it makes for such better visuals when you can like uh. go back and create these promos and stuff. The the YouTube content for 2K18, if this lives up to the hype and it actually comes out the way that 
I hope it does. It's got a uh, YouTube. Better watch out. There's gonna be a lot of lot of up and coming WWE 2K YouTubers because they're finally There's gonna be YouTube so many 2K that lets us YouTubers. Make some and I'm gonna be one of them. You guys better stay tuned for that. And you better stay tuned. So uh, you know, uh, this is going back to the uh, to the create a match type. You know, once you create one, you can save it and it'll show up in, in the normal match type. Okay. You select your matches, etc. That's pretty cool. Um, uh, people, we're not even close to done here. Still, a lot of huge bombs I'm about to drop on you. Really? Most realistic WWE game ever is what they're okay. calling it. And that's kind of something you know we use those taglines. We've been pushing this debate out so for a little while now. Yeah, they've been saying that for a little How while. How about so. this, y'all? Brand new graphics engine. Nice. I hereby solemnly. No, not solemnly. What's the word I'm thinking of? I hereby humbly. Humbly. Okay. Pay my condolences to the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions. But I say thank you for your sacrifice because the lack of last gen for this game Ugh. is going to make the Just. actual game that's going to come out a hell of a lot better. It so Why? is. New graphics engine. Which yes. means that stuff that they weren't capable of doing because they had to allocate resources to both Last gen, new gen, last gen, new gen, going back and forth, etc., etc. Oh, That's yeah. why there's going to be a lot more new features in 2K18. Oh man, and I'm so. I, I was actually so surprised at this. all this stuff that I left with that day when I left 2K because it's a lot of really dope stuff. New graphics engine. They said NBA quality level. That's that what is, they said. I well, didn't if, say it. If that's true, NBA quality it. level. That's what they said. I don't know. Skin shaders, physical based rendering, real time wow. reflections. New lighting, skin effects, camera effects, all that kind of stuff is brand Damn. new. Engine. Brand new engine for it. And now I can tell you about the gameplay that I saw. Gameplay you saw? We okay. saw a side-by-side -side screenshot of oh. Randy Orton's entrance okay. from 2K17 and from 2K18. Okay. Uh, they said there's going to be a new Randy model. There's going to be a new Randy model for 2K18, but they transferred over the 2K17 model into the new engine and it looked like a brand new model it looked like you were watching actual no. wrestling television the, the, no. lighting, the shadows the reflections like we got to see the side by side 17 versus 18 and 18 blew it out of the water and wow. like i said 18 was even using an old model of randy orton so That's imagine using having the new that. brand new randy model in there like this is gonna graphics be wise this awesome. is gonna be the best looking game ever that, seriously i can say the game caps on this are gonna be amazing on this it's gonna be the best looking game yet which is really cool um oh, wow. let's keep it moving okay. i still got two more pages of stuff new commentary team Cole Sexton and Corey Graves, the oh, new three-person commentary God. team. New commentary That's team. Gonna That's amazing. amazing. So I, you know, I love Jerry the King Lawler. He's great. You know, oh. but it, it was it was time to move away from that. It's gonna it's feel so time to like move a away completely different situation now. Corey Graves, Byron Sexton, Michael Cole are the announcers wow. for WWE 2K18. That's huge. Great new announcers. New chance, WWE 2K18. New ring announcer. No more Lillian Garcia. JoJo oh. is now in the game. JoJo is now in the game. No more Lillian Garcia. Oh. Multiple referees. We're not going to have the same referees Garcia. all the time. They couldn't get the rights to like the individual, the actual referees because okay. apparently WWE is a little iffy with their licensing and promotions of referees versus talent. They don't consider referees to be like in the same level as talent. So giving them individual licenses to be in the game and stuff is it's it's a messy situation. So there will okay. be multiple referees, but they're not going to be the authentic WWE referees. Multiple which, referees is day, still good. You know, Better than it, having it, just the a one guy working all through universe system. mode. That guy must get tired. The entire crowd system. Uh, crowd system so is good. The reactions, all type stuff. Okay. Going to be brand new. We also saw a Seth Rollins screenshot from 2K18. Seth Rollins side screenshot. Side from 2K17. Yeah. <laughs> it looks good. It looks really, yeah, really okay. Good. It looks that. good then. All right then. Um, uh, now the rest of this is just like a couple notes that we were able to pull out of them. Um, or wait, my notes are all over the place. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna keep talking. Uh, my career invasion, they said, is going farther. I don't know what that means. There might be a more integrative way to play with your friends in my career. That'd be Maybe interesting. This means you guys can be a tag team together. Can you be a tag? Yeah, That'd possibly be crazy. could be a tag I don't team. Know. That'd be nice. Know. I don't know. Um, but they I said play it's a lot going far. Uh, my career so, invasion. Like, it's a possibility. But we'll it's see. A possibility. We'll see. Biggest WWE roster ever by far, they said. 
Wow. They said by far. So last year had like 150 or something like that. Yeah. They said by far. We try, They wouldn't give us an exact number, but we pressed them a little bit. It's going to be pretty close to 200. There's going to be wow, close Wow, that rumor was true. 200. Close to 200. That's crazy. That's wild. That's crazy that that's true. Expanded oh, damn. backstage brawling with new arenas and interactive objects. Ooh, that means what? It will be expanded outside of the Monday Night Raw backstage area. There'll be okay. more places to fight at. There will be different uh, areas and spots you can go to and interact with. That sounds pretty cool. That's awesome. Uh, very few notes about WWE Universe mode. Didn't really talk about it a lot. They were very tight-lipped about it. They uh, There's an expanded story system. Okay. Because of all the things that changed in WWE, there's two brands now. There's All they said is there will be an expanded story system. All right. And they rewrote Universe Mode completely, which I really had to. Because now there's there's two separate rosters with their own sets of champions That's... and times and dates. It's like they had it's... to rewrite. Okay. And they did. With... Pause. I'm, I'm going to say, I'm, I keep pausing it. I can't help it. Universe Mode did need to be rewritten especially from the ground up. And the reason for that is because, as you probably know, Universe Mode now would not work with the current product because obviously Raw and SmackDown, they have their drafts, you know, they, they, they have separate rosters, they have separate titles. NXT's its own brand, 205's its own brand. NXT's on a Wednesday, SmackDown's on a Tuesday, immediately following Tuesday night SmackDown. There is obviously 205 Live. And it just having all these different things going on, Universe Mode just wouldn't work. I mean, trying to have, you know, 205 Live straight on the same day as SmackDown Live. It's just, it wouldn't work. So I'm really glad that they've actually rewritten Universe Mode. I'm really interested to see what it's going to be like. Um, this this could be obviously a, another really big thing because Universe Mode is probably one of the most played modes, if not the most played mode. And a lot of people use, you know, they create their own universes in it. They have their own federations in it. They have their own promotions. They have their own superstars. And I'm really excited to see how they've fit that in and how they've changed the calendar. So this is great, okay? Um, I'm just gonna get back on with it. I'm um, in pause. Know, stories will carry across pay-per-views and they start and or stop because something happens instead of it being randomly triggered. So the stories okay. are gonna feel more organic, apparently. They're gonna For be more example, fluid. Um, if you have a, a fight with an opponent and you're beating his ass after the match, Maybe somebody will come in and make the save. Maybe it's their tag team partner, and now there's a rivalry brewing between you two. Uh, and that's Ooh. something that flowed with the story. That's it's not like cool. you're, I'm beating up The Undertaker afterwards, and here comes Santino talking about, why just steal my girlfriends? Like, it's not, it's not gonna be these random things back and forth. There's actually gonna be some rhyme or reason to them, which is good to know. I did ask, I personally asked this question, will there be a draft? They said, no. But oh, no you draft. have the same capabilities to edit your rosters just like you have in previous years. Uh, that, you can facilitate like, your own no. draft. It's not that big of a deal. And he was like, yeah, I know. But I was like, oh, that's, you know, a draft system. Even if it's just starting a brand new universe mode. Like, hey, brand new universe mode. Start draft. Even if it's like completely random or whatever. Just I, I would have liked to see a little mini addition like that in game. But unfortunately, there's not going to be a draft in 2K18. Yeah. As far as gameplay goes, I gotta get more comfortable. I'm sitting here talking my ass off. Um, yeah. There's a new carry and drag system. So oh. dragging has always kind of been a little wonky when you gotta grab your opponent, put them in a certain place. Yeah. Whatever, blah, blah, blah. There's it's a not brand great, new system it? in place where you can pick up and carry your opponent and place them wherever you want to. And what? there's also now mid move adjustments. So there's things gonna, you can I'm, trigger I'm within. Pause this for a second. So you can pick up and carry your opponent and put them where you want. That's that's an addition that's going back to the SmackDown vs. Raw series again as well, wasn't it? Ultimate control, you could do these sorts of things too. You could pick them up and carry and put them wherever you need to and you could put them in certain positions and and certain places, but you carry them like Fireman's carry and you could powerbomb carry them. And I'm pretty sure they did this in a SmackDown vs. Raw game as well. So that's really interesting that they're bringing that back. That adds a bit of realism. Um, I really like that because obviously it's a pain in the ass to set it up all the time and get them in the right place for the right move and 
that's going to help with the flow of the match because sometimes it could be a bit, you know, it's just a stop and start and stop and start with the match. But that's that's really good. I want to I want to know more about this mid move thing. Certain moves. Let's say you're going up for a power bomb and you're okay. facing the ropes and you're like, oh god, this is not the best place to do it. In the middle of the move, you can now turn around and flop them in the middle of the ring. So you have more oh. control over where you put your opponents at That's time, good. which is really, really cool. Because, I mean, obviously, and, uh, when you're doing a power these days, you can only turn around into some of them. feeding system. So, for example, the AI will adjust itself based on where it is to kind of keep the match flowing and make everything seem visually fluid. Okay. Because if you do a move near a corner... Cool. You know, sometimes a guy gets flopped up in a corner. He's like, oh, I don't know where to go. My leg is over my head. And stuff. <laughs> uh, he will move himself or herself into a different position. Like he'll prop himself up in a corner, uh, so okay. you can do a follow-up move, or he'll like roll over and get away from the ropes, so you have more move, more, uh, more move, so you have more room to do different maneuvers and stuff. Which sounds really cool. We didn't get to see any of that, but on the surface, it sounds pretty cool. Uh, backstage brawl is cool. coming to online. That's pretty oh, cool. Oh, all right. They improve the community creation online is search engine. Community creation. Thank the friggin' Lord. Because I search for... If I search for Byron Sexton on the community creations, you're going to get 14 Chris Dangers, you're going to get Ryan Pillmans, and you're going to get saxophone logos. But you won't get one <laughs> it's, so, it's so It'll true. Close. It's You'll get so true. Initials are BS. Creation Suite was so bad. Wait, I can't think of any right the now. Creation but Suite. That's what Create, community Creations was so, so bad. They said they completely reworked This that. is now, awesome. M &M. I'm really pleased with this. Some of the best stuff for last. Okay, best Eight stuff for last. man or woman matches are now possible. Last oh my God. matches, Royal Rumbles, eight man tags, and Battle Royals can now have up to eight people in the ring. This is huge because this is the first time ever uh, since wow, is it ever? I want to say wow. Ever. I feel like maybe it's some ever. of the really, really, really old wrestling games because no. they didn't really have a lot of data. No. I, mean, I don't know. No, I'm pretty sure this is ever. the first time ever you can have eight. I'm pretty sure it's the first time ever as well. That's you. Eight That's a brand pe new pause. You can brand oh, seriously eight people in the ring at once oh my god that opens up so many possibilities are we talking about four corner tag matches are we talking about eight man ladder matches are we talking about well basically anything eight people in the ring at once is that including the royal rumble more than likely i probably haven't finished the video yet so eight people in the ring at once that's more than any wwe game before that's freaking awesome Seriously, eight people in the ring. We've been crying out for this for so long, but I know what people are going to be like. You're going to have this first generation. There's going to be eight people in the ring, and then as soon as we get eight people in the ring, you give it a year or two, and people are going to be like, man, there needs to be more people in the ring. It's just, why don't they have 10? I mean, damn, 12. This isn't realistic, is it? I don't want 15 men in the ring all the ones during my Royal Rumble, but seriously, eight people, that's a great start. So I don't know whether that's going to include managers or not, because what if you come out as a four-person tag team in a Survivor Series match and you bring a manager with you? Does that count? Or is it just eight people in the area at once, including the ref model? Not including, not including the ref model, obviously, and the commentators. I'm really excited. Addition, like that that's a big step in the right direction, if you ask me. They revamped the Royal Rumble. Brand new eliminations, new AI, smart pairing, which means if Kofi's in the ring and Woods comes out okay. and Jey Uso's in the ring, Woods and Kofi are going to team up against Jey Uso because they're on the same That's team. pretty cool. Maybe. And there might be new animations where like, like they that. start to go back and forth a little bit. So this is all new stuff they added to the Rumble to make new it a lot This is cool, awesome. Really cool. And finally, there's Seriously. a new Elimination Chamber model because of the updated Elimination Chamber yeah. model. Updated Elimination Chamber. I, I expected that. But from what he's seen so far and the modes they are proposing, that says to me and to him and to all the other WWE YouTubers, as he puts it, that this is going to be an amazing game. 
So I'm super excited now. I'm guessing you guys are super excited. I can't wait to see it. Um, I really want to see some screenshots. I really want to see some entrances. More than likely, they're going to be looking at doing stuff probably in August for the, for the actual roster itself. Close to 200. It's going to be a lot of things they're going to have to reveal over the course of August all the way up to the game. Maybe September time is going to be... Maybe it will take the full two months to get them all out, but either way, that's crazy. So I am well looking forward to this. I'm seriously looking forward to the collector's edition, which they should be announcing soon. Um, other than that, guys, thanks for watching. That was me on my WW2K18 reaction video. And thank you guys for keep up, keep liking, keep subscribing, keep up with me because I will bring you more WWE 2K18 content as it comes in. Um, the news obviously is massive at the moment so this is going to keep rolling and rolling and rolling so I'm going to bring it out to you as soon as I can every time, okay? Brilliant. Thanks for watching guys.